flips it to the corner. Able to, and Bahador read that the whole way, picked that one off. Trombley, the Firebirds take it right back. Poked away by Brown. Up inside, oh, nearly swatted away. <laughs> Wants to be getting in some good minutes today. And I like the decision there. He had a chance to make one more pass to the corner. But the Firebird defender anticipated it, and he was confident to take the jump shot himself. Free throw drops through. Three-point basket rattles. And when these teams get tested prior to arrival, it allows programs the chance to opt out from playing if a player tests positive try to prevent contact tracing from spreading the virus grid looking and wire to wire victory only behind for 56 seconds in this ball game deep three heat check Meza and Ooh. put it on as Darius Jackson there driving kick out for the three and that one is good See the good thing is they've taken away that entry pass to the low post whether it's been you know off the bounce or over the top Six to shoot, Meza deep three is good. That's they need it in the opening 107 here of the second half. Darius Jackson to Funk to Meza who launches a three and makes it. Just the Commissioner Dan Butterly has been on my show a number of times. He's such a great guy. He's so accessible and just very kind to come on and talk about what's facing the conference and of course CSUV in their first year. It's been and really his good to get to know him. Exactly, coming over from the Mountain West. There's a wide open look. Meza pulls the trigger and he gets it to go. Caesar to the right by Hernandez Jr. Long pass, ill advised. Somehow Buckingham almost came up with it. Gets banged up along the way. And there's a pass to Meza in the corner. Does he have it? He does. Caesar. <laughs> Move inside, flips it up and in. Great post move by D'Angelo Field. A little too quick for the handle. Looks to the corner. Neza dumps it inside. And up and over the outstretched arms of Z set. <laughs> Ooh, loses him on the crossover. Re offensive rebound. That dials up a three, and that one will go. And Lawson Jordan Spaschak has also felt maybe even a little bit more because he had a lot of leadership from the team captain last year. Forms up by 17 at the 724 mark of the first half. My name is Taylor Ballastrary Jennings, my partner Jordan Gunderson, and it's been a much different affair than last night, led by Abram Carrasco, who has 16 big points here in the first half alone. Still seven minutes to play. Here's a three from downtown, and that is pure. Maurice Woods now back with it here at the top of the key. You know, keeping their foot on the gas is what has been working for them today, and if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Caesar Woods, back, or back to Woods, and oh my God. Last night, Mikey Howell coming over, and then Hugh Baxter coming with the help take away that cut lane. Triton's looking for their 24th consecutive win, dating all the way back to, as you had mentioned, partner, December 5th, 2019, when Chico State wearing a similar type uniform. A couple of threes. He's had several good looks. That one looked good right out of the hand. Yep, Hugh Baxter yesterday was one of three shooting. Here is a wide open Darius Jackson who buries a straight away. Get a little momentum going for the young man out of uh, Chicago. You know, to go into the new year with some points. That's his first made field goal as a member of the UC San Diego Triton men's basketball team. That's got to feel good. 
Durham inside is double teamed. Somehow puts it on the floor and makes a nice. Shoot. You're probably right. That's why you got put in there. Absolutely. 24 point lead for the Roadrunners. Ronnie Reedus and Sean Williams will go back in. How about this? <laughs> and the ball out in front. That's Michael Wexler, a walk-on, 5'11", senior from Plymouth, Minnesota. Gets a chance on the floor. And then